Hey, what's up? John from Videofort.com bringing you a new After Effects tutorial on some more title creation. We've got the Ink Splot title intro. Let's go ahead and check out what we'll be making today. So we've got this uh, cool little intro with the uh, ink spots around and I uh, got a camera movement and flies through the letters. Pretty sweet stuff. Let's uh, dive right into it. So first off, let's go ahead and go up to composition, new composition. We'll make one 1920 by 1080, bring it to 24 frames per second and 20 seconds is perfect for duration. And we'll just call these Splots. Sweet. So from here, we are going to do layer, new, solid, and color doesn't matter. We're just going to say OK. And then we'll go over to our effects and presets and search for CC particle world. And we will drop that right on top, and that will give us our particle system. Let's go ahead and turn off the grid and guides because we do not need that. And yeah, I'll just turn off the rest of this. And I'll just kind of extra stuff. Sweet. So with that done, let's go ahead and drop down our birth rate, physics, producer, all that good stuff, and start changing things. So we want to change our particle type first off to lens convex, and that'll give us these circles instead, which is kind of nice. Let's bring our gravity down to zero. So I'll just type in zero right there. You'll go down to max opacity and bring it up to 100. And you want your birth size at about 0.5. And let's bring our death size down to zero. And our size variation, we can bring up to maybe, well, we could do 100. I'd bring it anywhere from like 80 to 100, somewhere in there. And uh, let's go ahead and play with the opacity and birth size a little bit. So we can change those around a little bit. And let's see, let's uh, let's play with this velocity. All right, cool. So what we're gonna do from here is we're gonna take stills and uh, get different views of these blobs. So yeah, you can just scrub through and pick different frames that look like they're good ink splots. And then what you'll do is you go up to Composition, Save Frame As, File. And that'll bring you up to a render queue. And you can choose where you want to save it to. And I'm just going to call it Ink Splot 1. And then create a folder for them to be saved to and uh, go through and create a couple ink spots. I've already created mine, so I'm gonna join back up with you once you've finished yours. Once you uh, have all your ink spots set up in, in your render queue, just hit render, they'll render out, and then import them to your project. Okay, so I've got my ink spots imported here. I've got a few different ones created that I can bring into my project. Now from here, I'm gonna go up to composition, new composition, and we're going to have it be 1920 by 1080 at 24 frames per second. Duration is fine at 20 seconds again. And let's just call this Splot Title. Alrighty. So we've got that made. Let's go ahead and bring in one of our ink sayings. I'm just going to bring in ink number one. It looks beautiful. And from here, we are going to make two new solids for our background. So let's go ahead and create a new solid and we'll call this BKG and say 
Okay. Bring that down. Let's make the uh, color on this red, dark red. Maybe something like that. That looks pretty good. Let's say okay. And then we can just duplicate that. And let's go ahead and change the solid color on this to a black, straight black. All right. And with our BKG2 selected, let's name it Mask. And then we'll select our elliptical tool or ellipse tool. And we'll draw a circle or ellipse kind of like this around the center there. I'm going to kind of just bring out these edges just a little bit to be kind of touching all four edges. And then we also want to change our mask to subtract and crank up the mask's feather. So feather it out quite a bit. That'll give us a cool little background to work on. Nice, nice. And we can go ahead and highlight these and lock them since we won't be using them from now on. Cool. So. Let's go ahead and create our text layer now. I'm going to do videofort.com. And let's go ahead and switch up the text a little bit. I'm going to make it be Arial. Arial, and let's uh, bold italicize it. And make it big. And bold that too. Sweet. Looks amazing, I think. Yeah. So we'll go with that. Let's go ahead and add a camera, but we'll turn these into 3D layers first. So make your text layer and ink layer both 3D. And we'll go up to layer, new, camera. And 50 millimeter presets fine. And let's go ahead and grab our orbit tool. That works well. And we'll just turn a little bit this way. Let's bring up the P for position. And we'll lock that. And let's just move forward just a hair. About a second in time. And we'll just turn this way. Super fancy. So we've got a pretty basic movement here. Now uh, let's go ahead and select our ink layer. And we're going to go to Effect, Color Correction, then all the way down to Hue Saturation. And we're going to take down the lightness all the way. That's going to turn it black. The suit is not black. All right, so with our ink splot turned to black, let's go ahead and get to about the middle of this transition. We're going to take our ink splot and we're going to duplicate it by doing Command D or Control D if you're on a PC. And then we can take it and when you're looking at it you notice when you go over the different axes you get the x and y to pop up only move this ink spot on the x and y axis that's going to keep it in the same plane as uh, your other ink spots which will be nice it'll kind of allow you to do some cooler 3d stuff when we're spacing this out later on let's go ahead and uh, duplicate this again and maybe put one, uh, how does it look there? Up a little, 
And so still get the same camera movement with our new ink spots in there. Let's uh, go ahead and select our text layer and we'll bring that forward. So you want to have the Z highlighted and you can just bring that forward a little bit. Not too much, but uh, that will bring it in front of those ink spots so you can kind of get a little more of a 3D feel from it. And we can even probably bring it forward a little bit more. So that's, that's nice. Nice little, little 3D movement. Okay. So let's go ahead and make some more ink spots. Now we can start playing around a little bit and, you know, creating this space and making it a little more dynamic or however you want to, however you want to say that. So I'm actually going to go back into the project and bring in a different ink spot. You can too, if you would like. So I brought in my ink spot three and I'm going to turn on the 3D layer for it. And I'm going to go ahead and move it over this way and send it way back into space. Now on this one, I'm gonna change the transfer mode. And you can do that by clicking down here where it says toggle switches modes. And I'm gonna change the transfer mode to overlay. And that'll kind of bring in our reddish background that we got going on, which is cool. Um, and let's go ahead and set this up in the 3D space a little bit more. Kind of do whatever we want with it really. Bring it further back or bring it further forward if we want to. I'm going to push it back. Push it back real far. And then what I'm going to do is select it and duplicate it one more time and go ahead and move this around a little bit. And bear in mind we only want to be moving on the X and Y axis again so we've already set up the Z space for that guy so let's just uh, keep it on the X and Y axis and that'll keep it in the same plane uh, which is always nice for this it'll allow us to do some cool push throughs with the camera later on if we keep them in the same plane so just uh, have a little trust and I just duplicated that again and you know, just trying to create those random, you know, splotches so it looks really spotty or whatever, like a red and black pen just exploded while I was grading my students' papers or something, I don't know. And that's a pretty nice setup. Let's, uh, let's bring some ink splotches into the foreground a little bit to create just more depth and, uh, you know, really push this scene that we got going on here. So I'm gonna bring in ink number two. Bring that one in. And we gotta put it into the 3D space. And let's make sure that we put a hue and saturation on it. So let's go up to effects, color correction, hue, saturation, and we'll bring down the lightness all the way to make it black. And this one, we're gonna go on the Z axis and we're gonna bring it forward. You can place it right about there. And now when we kinda of do this, we've got some ink that passes in front of the camera. That's kind of a cool effect. Let's uh, zoom out just a little bit, and I'm going to duplicate this again, and move it up so we get kind of like a top one getting in the way. We can also move it to the right a little bit. So now if I fit that, we can scrub through a little more. 
And boom shakalaka. Really awesome. So coolness. Also, don't forget motion blur. That's going to you know, add a little bit of blur to this. Keep things looking super awesome. -o. So, uh, yeah, you pretty much get the idea there. Play around with it. See what you can create. Pretty much endless possibilities um, with it. You know, this is my little title that I did. You know, I threw in the splotches and just kind of have them moving around. So, yeah, let's see what you can create. Make sure to uh, leave some comments down there and uh, show us what you're doing. And hit subscribe over on the right. You're going to miss out on all these cool things we're teaching you if you don't. Trust me. I mean, that's some major regret there. Probably not. Okay, so... That completes today's Inksplot tutorial. This has been super fun. Have a great day, guys. Or not, the choice is yours. Later.